Hi there, my name is Gethin Hodges, I'm a third year medical student. Yeah. I've been asked today to perform an examination of your thyroid. Basically what this involves is me asking you a few questions and then just testing your reflexes and checking a few other things. Would that be okay? Yeah. Okay, just going to wash my hands. So just to begin with, I'm noting on examination, or just on in general inspection, that the patient appears well and comfortable at rest. They're not particularly agitated and not sweating profusely. And they're comfortable. Yeah, so can I just ask you, could you tell me a little bit about um, whether you've had any changes in mood recently? Uh, no, not that I noticed. Okay. Uh, do you find yourself uh, hot when other people are cold, or have you had to wear extra clothing at all? Not compared to other people. Okay, okay. Have you noticed any change in your bowel habits? Uh, no, they're pretty regular. Okay, okay. And have you noticed any skin changes? Any sweating or...? Um, a little bit of sweating, but not, not anything that's been more so recently. Okay, okay. Okay, so I'll move on to, to um, the examination now. So just begin with, if I could just look at your hands for a moment. Okay, so I'm looking particularly for any sweatiness in the hands. The hands are a bit sweaty. Okay, I'm just looking as well. Could you just do this for me? I'm just looking for any signs of thyroid acrophagy as well, which resembles swelling. That's fine. And, okay, could you just stick out your hands for me like that? I'm just going to place a bit of paper on there. I'm just looking for any fine tremor as well, which might be indicative of hypothyroidism. That's fine. Next, I'm just going to take your pulse. I'm particularly checking for any irregularities, which might be um, atrial fibrillation, especially in hypothyroidism. And so that's 60 beats per minute regular, that's fine. Okay, so moving up onto the face, so I'm looking for any signs of any hair loss, alopecia, and I'm also looking at the outer thirds, especially of the eyebrows, for any, any loss, which might be indicative of hypothyroidism, and that's not present. Noting any, any peaches and cream complexion in the face, um, it's not present, or any, any signs of sweating, it's not there. Great, so moving on to the eyes, um, I'm just looking for any signs of lid retraction, or any signs of exophthalmos, which is not present. Um, we can also look from above, just checking for any signs of proptosis, which is not present as well. So if you just keep an eye on my finger for me, keep your head still. Okay, so checking for signs of lid lag, not present. And could you just um, look at my finger for me, and just, have you got any double vision at all? No. Okay, so just let me know if there's any, any changes in double vision as I move. So, moving on now uh, to consider proximal myopathy. So, could you just stick your hands out for me like this and just stop me from moving you? Okay, that's great. And could you just, without using your hands, if you could just stand up for me? Okay, that's great. Sit back down. And also check at this point uh, reflexes as well. So, you could just get your turn around and turn it that way. <coughs> just relax completely. That's great. Okay, that's great. And could you just roll up your trousers so I can just have a look at your shins? Okay, and there's no signs of any material mixed edema as well. That's great. Thank you very much. That concludes my examination. I'm just going to wash my hands and report my findings. As part of the thyroid status examination, I would also consider doing thyroid at full thyroid examination as well. That's covered another time. Thank you. Nice.